Last October 7, who knew in Israel that the Hamas will attack? Nobody. Ephesians chapter 3, we'll start with verse 14. He said, I kneel, I kneel before the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. He said, I pray that you being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measurable, the fullness of God. Yesterday, I was thinking I can do everything on time. I'm, I'm using an EV6, an electric car of Kia. I was thinking that uh, I, will have, I will have no problem in the next five years or hopefully 10 years. But then yesterday while I was leaving the house, it was okay, left something to a friend. And when I left, before reaching the Walgreen right there in Church Street, I find out that the speed was decreasing. And anyway, I went inside Wal uh, Walgreen dr drugstore, buying for something, then went back. When I started, it started and started running. Then I, cannot, I, I could not go beyond 22 miles per hour. No matter how I press the accelerator, I never could go beyond 22 miles per hour. So I proceeded to Bank of America and stopped there. All the way from Walgreen to Bank of America, I was only driving at 22 miles per hour. That's about 35 kilometers per hour. Very slow in Bank of America. I went back to the car. When I started, it again gave a signal. Battery charge is limited. Unexpected, unexpected for a 19 months old car. So when I started driving, it said 11, uh, the, the maximum uh, speed that I could have was 11 miles per hour, <laughs> half of the 22 miles. So how can I arrive home with 11 miles with some cars would be following me? So I started driving at 11 miles per hour, then started to 10. Now, eight, it's dropping. I think I have to stop. So at the, uh, at, at, uh, I think, 7th Street, behind Bank of America, I started to turn so that I can position because believing that I needed an, a towing truck. So when, I when the towing truck arrives, it will be in the right position. So I started to turn right, and just there at the corner, you can imagine about two, two meters from the corner, it stopped. <laughs> you know, yesterday I just uh, found out that there's nothing more that I can do. You cannot press the emergency light. If you press, there's no light because there was no power in the battery. I cannot turn it to neutral because it requires power. So it, I. I Many came to me and said, what can we help? They wanted to push. They wanted to push the car and help me to be on the right section of the road. That was a big problem. And then a police officer came by and he said, I'll call the towing uh, services of the triple A. So <clears throat> there was an officer, there was a, uh, two, about three people who, who stopped by to help me, willing to help. I like, I like the the response of the people willing to help. And ultimately, ultimately, the towing truck arrived. I, because I do not intend to tell that story. I don't want to embarrass Kia <laughs> with, their, with their electric car, the EV6. It's embarrassing for them that in, in 19 months, I already have that problem. But then when I was reading this text, I said, I think that story fits 
this group of texts. Because when you read this, look at this. For this reason I kneel before the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. Verse 16. Ephesians 3, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. Now, there are four points that Apostle Paul was praying. He knelt before God, praying for the Ephesians, praying for the Indonesians, praying for the Filipinos, praying for the Japanese. It was a prayer for all because this is now in the Holy Scriptures for all. And his prayer was, he was praying for inner power, inward power, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Dwelling is the presence. He was praying for inward presence. First, he was praying for inward power. Second, he prayed for inward presence. What was the problem? What was the cause of the, my problem yesterday? With a car. Lack of power. And then, no matter what I do, because there was no presence of power there, it cannot do anything. Now let's continue reading the text that we have read. It says, And I, and I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. What does it mean to grasp God's love? That we can have the right perception. Right perception is the one addressed here. There was a Jewish father who brought his son to a, 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 a pool. And so he and his son during that ritual, went there, immersed themselves, and the son said, Oi! Because it was called, he said, Oi! And then after the ritual bath, the father with his son went up, he wrapped his son with towel and clothed cloth him, and after that cold experience, the son said, Ah! And then the father said, son, this is the lesson that I'm going to give you. Did you remember when you were there in that cold water? You said, oi. But now that you are warmth, you said, ah. This is the difference between that and sin. Because when you commit sin, the first thing that you will experience is, ah. And then the next one is, oi. We need to perceive it. That perception comes from the Holy Spirit as he is dwelling in our lives. So Apostle Paul was so concerned about the spiritual growth of his people, of the believers. And he said, Lord, give them inward power. Give them the Holy Spirit's inward presence. Give the, my people that inward, inward perception. The perception that is needed so that we can discern what is right and wrong. In Western Sumar Sumatra, you know about this Mount Marapi. It's a volcano. First Saturday, first Saturday of December, last December, about 75 people went up, went up to Mount Marapi. Mount Marapi has a height of 9,480 feet. So you can imagine. The highest point here in uh, Big Bear is only about 5,641. So it is almost double the height of the highest peak when you go up to Big Bear Mountain. About 75 people went up. When they were up there, they thought that they will be enjoying the scenery and can have a record that when they go back home, when they will be back to their villages, they will be able to say, we have experienced climbing up that 9,000 plus feet mountain, Mount Marapi. When they were up there the following day, what happened? If you have been watching 
the news, Mount Marapi exploded. They have to rush back home. Many have been injured. 23 died. In our lives, we do not know what the future will be. Last October 7, who knew in Israel that the Hamas will attack? Nobody. We cannot, we cannot detect. We cannot discern. And on, on, and on spiritual things, we need the Holy Spirit to dwell in our hearts so that we can have that discernment and we can have that perception in our lives. Because we need to be able to discern what is right and what is wrong. And it takes a spiritual presence, the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Many things is experience that make us feeling better than others. Sometimes when we look down with people, it's because there is pride in us. When we cannot forgive, it's because there is pride in us. And many, many are willing to say, I can forgive. <laughs> he is willing to forgive, but not to ask forgiveness. It takes the presence of the Holy Spirit to have that discernment, that perception, what to do. Pride can destroy us. Many of you were already big enough when... Uh, we have popular heavyweight champions. Who are the heavyweight champions that you have learned in the past? Very popular. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Fraser. Joe Fraser. Muhammad. Only uh, curious when it is uh, Manny Pacquiao because he's a Filipino and doing good. If he's not, we have Joe Freezer, we have Muhammad Ali, Foreman, and also... I think it was sometime in March, on a March 8, 1971, scheduled fight that Muhammad Ali has with Joe Freezer. And people will say, it could be Joe Freezer. It could be Muhammad Ali. So, Muhammad Ali appeared on TV, and this is, the record is in Life magazine. He said, many of you are confused. You are in confusion. But when March 8 will come, you will no longer be confused. Because I am the king. Nobody can beat me. I am the king. Look at me. I'm pretty. Because he's, he's the most handsome of all those, those boxers there. I'm pretty. No one can defeat me, and I will be someday be in a postage in the United States of America. Stamp. He, ex he expected that he will be one of the stamps of the United States of America. Somehow to be that forever stamp. <laughs> Come the boxing time, he lost to Joe Fraser. That's why we need to be careful in life. We need to be careful with life. What makes us humble is to just make us feel that we are all sinners. That we need, need God's grace. But by God's grace, it is not fortunately, but providentially, by God's will, He did something for us. When God's provision is revealed, God sent His Son. He was up there. He was brought down so that you and I can have the opportunity to go up.